hello friends hope you all are doing good and in today's video we are going to cover that how you can clear any automation interview okay so the thing is that uh, like don't fall for any one week or one month uh, preparation plan so if you are not prepared then there is no way you can prepare in one week or let's say one month okay so you should have a prior understanding of uh, like why you should do testing and how you are going to approach the learning because until and unless you have the syllabus with you by syllabus i mean you should know all the topics which you are govern which you are going to cover from the starting to the end so let's say you start with java basics or whatever like c sharp basics the language you are going to start with okay in that try to learn like what are the oops concept like object classes okay object in classes what is like let's say constructor why do you need constructor and all these things like the basic stuff of a programming language okay which will help you uh, later in developing your framework after that if you are learning let's say uh, the automation part so in that you should know the different kind of weight and similarly like all the syllabus by syllabus i mean like all the topics should be uh, in front of your eyes so that you can plan accordingly so with this i want to say that like you should plan your preparation okay make it 2 to 3 month plan and depending on how much effort you are putting in you can easily not easily like uh, that will depend on from where are you coming and what's your background because uh, let's say that if if a guy has 2 years manual testing experience okay then he will more easily understand the automation framework rather than a fresher learning the same thing because the manual testing guy will have a basic understanding of how the workflow and why we are testing and all that we would cover the same in the second point also that before like i strongly recommend that before learning automation you should like focus on this manual part also that why do you uh, test okay what are the different phases of testing and everything that will surely help you assist you in learning automation okay and one more thing in this uh, that like learn daily okay be consistent so even if you are like you have made a plan and everything but if you are if you don't follow the plan there is no point of like making a plan okay so that's it like uh, you can divide accordingly um, whether you want to cover one topic per day and so this is where the udemy courses comes into picture that while per, like after purchasing the course you will have the outline okay and they will have modules and the uh, good part of uh, like these modules is that you will have 8 to 15 minutes video or like 4 to 5 videos in one module so you can cover this one module in one week or probably in a day depending on your pace okay and in the uh, like uh, description box you can find some like a cool udemy courses which i personally followed for learning automation okay so you can check out those and i am suggesting uh, only those udemy courses which i have used okay so you can be sure that okay i'm not uh, promoting any uh, like anything just like that okay so we have also covered this manual part that uh, like before jumping into automation you should focus on the like you should at least know that what is testing different kind of testing why do we need testing and different phases of testing okay now this is like a very important point and a very big reason that people give up uh, coding midway like learning automation midway so initially you will get the interest okay when there will be basic java stuff and everything you will enjoy it but when the things get hard okay by by uh, by getting hard means that let's say yeah, like we are we are doing exception handling okay so in that like whatever the instructor is telling you you have to practice it until and unless you practice uh, the code yourself you are not you're never going to learn okay no one has become a master by just watching the lectures okay so uh, my suggestion to you will be that if two days you watch the lecture then on the third day like uh, two days you watch it so on the third day just revise and practice this is going to like uh, what do you say so if you have uh, made a wall then this is going to permanently establish that wall okay this is not going anywhere 
so the problem um, which might can happen that okay you have covered let's say four modules and after four modules uh, you have forgot the first module okay so it's it's very necessary to revise what you are learning at the same time like uh, keep on practicing what you are learning okay so that like uh, you can yourself so let me tell you that uh, the problems which will arise so let's say even if you are printing hello world okay the instructor is telling you that we have made this program okay this is the class and you are printing the hello world so when you will open your id that will give you confidence okay this is my id and i have set it up the java path and everything and it might happen that you will not be able to print the hello world itself so then and there only try to look for solution on online and after that like Uh, you are going to print this and the uh, like follow the subsequent video which the instructor is telling you okay so my point here is that do hands on whatever the instructor is telling just uh, keep uh, your hands dirty okay and in the end trying to try to make the project different from what the instructor have told so let's say the instructor have uh, taken flipkart as an example although this is a bad example that like no one takes flipkart because this is too much dynamic okay so try to go with very basic applications in the description box i will link down some basic uh, websites on which you can uh, do practice and make the selenium frameworks and uh, till this point if you are like enjoying this video just hit that like button it will surely help me to know that like you guys are enjoying the content and uh, yep so like make a project uh, from scratch and possibly if possible like different from what instructor has told you different from instructor or the teacher okay so this is it and the x factor is that like have some something else with automation so if you if you just learn automation only this much is not going to help you like either uh, try to go with performance testing okay or a tool or you should be uh, like good in sql okay so database testing or possibly like you are a good rp developer so have have that x factor with you so that like after the uh, after giving the interview interview should know that okay uh, i can hire this guy and he has multiple skills so just not learning automation is uh, like going to land a pin job or possibly a good job okay it will surely help you but uh, like after learning automation and before giving the interview i suggest you to just brush up your like sql knowledge or possibly like pick up any niche technology which will help you to stand apart okay so i hope uh, this video was useful for you and just comment down below if you feel that okay something else is there which which uh, it can help you to land up a job in automation testing so that's it guys thanks for watching shailesh kumar signing off